What's happening guys? So we are now two days out uh, from flying to World Strongest Man 2022 and this video is my thoughts, I guess, of what's been going on recently, my thoughts for Worlds, all that type of stuff. So Tom at the moment is out in Seville, uh, Rangers are playing tonight, good luck Rangers. So he's chilling. Looks like he's having a great time. I think it's the best decision for him to go out there, take his mind off. It's been a big prep for us, you know, I'm not going to lie, it's been tough. There's been some bad days, I've had some really good days, really good training sessions, but, you know, I think for Tom, it's nice for him to take himself away and just chill. And that's why you see me in the mornings going for a swim, like this morning I was out. I think I went through, I got there about half four this morning. Um, for a swim. I think I've chatted about an awful lot of the time as well, you know, when I'm swimming uh, or when I'm in the cold water, I get it's all different types of emotions, so this morning I was actually in a little bit emotional just in myself, just kind of and that usually happens to me before I compete because we talk. I talk a lot about pressure and the pressure I put on myself to perform. What anyone else says, it doesn't really doesn't really bother me as much um, I try not to think about anyone else, but for me personally, I put myself under a lot of pressure to perform. I think that's more like recent, isn't it? Recent, yeah, why, yeah. Why is that? Because I expect the best for myself. I expect um, with the work I've done with the psychologist with Amy, I know that I'm capable of winning these shows. I expect to be better than I was last year, and I know last year I was very good. I think the better you become, or the more popular, the, the more successful you become, you're always chasing that next stage of success. So. You know, winning Europe's Strongest Man, World Tour Final, then this year podium in Arnold's. You know, it's been quite successful. It's been it's been good putting myself under pressure because I want to do more. I want to do better. I want to win World's Strongest Man. That's my goal. That's my. It's almost like my get out of jail card. You know, winning World's Strongest Man will allow me to. I don't know. Get out of this this kind of. It's almost like an all-consuming thing, you know, that's what Strongman is, it's very much consuming from the minute you wake up to the minute you go to bed, like that's all I'm doing. And I love it, I wake up happy every morning, but I know there's more to life than that, you know, for me that's that's the thing, and I can see that there's, there's bits and pieces coming now. I can't step away without doing this, you know, being successful world strongest man that's that's what i need to do that's when i i put a bit more pressure on myself i think i i relish that i relish the self-critical you know i'm very self-critical i, I cr criticize myself quite a lot for um things i do I, I don't ever think that and i think that's that's right you know we're never perfect we always have room for growth and i think that's something that i look to to myself to do is like analyse my performances i could have done better here here and here um, okay it was an okay performance but things could have gone better. And I think that's all, all type of progressing. I think that's the same way with with the business aspect as well. Say if, you know, we're, we're doing something that doesn't quite go as, as planned, then I'm, I take that kind of, not to heart, but I take that on the chin almost. You know, it's like, well, it was, you know, the idea that we had, it didn't work. And then at the end of the day, it kind of falls with me. So that's another one where I put myself under pressure because I need this business to, to succeed because without that I'll have to go back to my old life which I don't want to do you know I don't want to have to be offshore on an oil rig um, you know been away for three weeks at a time that's not where my 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 head is at and it never will be again so this pressure I feel is, is very real but that's why I do the cold water because it takes that initial pressure away that, that kind of daily pressure that daily kind of whatever it is it just takes it away. It's great that I have that. You know, when I do do the swims in the morning, which is pretty much every morning, I feel a lot better. But there is days when I don't or I can't do it for whatever reason and it kind of gets to me. Um, and that's when I, I feel a bit more foggy. But I'm happy I'm feeling pressured by myself because that, that shows that I've had a good prep. My body's feeling like it's been a good prep. You know, we had our last training session, our last kind of heaviest training session Monday. That went really well. Everything felt very light, which was good. Training for World Strongest Man has gone so much better than the years before. So that's, for me, that is such a big, big boost. You know, a couple of weeks ago doing an easy five reps with a 180 stone and then one motion in the last rep. That's massive. Doing eight reps of one 50 kilo log 
in under a minute. That's massive. Um, 440 oak for 20 metres. Sub 10 seconds. That's that's big. You know, all these things that we've been doing allow me to have that belief and allow me to put myself under pressure because that's what I need to do to be able to perform. I feel this excitement, but then I know when I go to World's Strongest Man, that's what we said in the last video, I, I switch. My mentality changes, my mindset changes, everything about me kind of changes. I feel like I grow, I feel like I'm, I feel I become bigger, I become more powerful when I go to these competitions because this isn't the main part of my job, you know, training, business and all this stuff, that's, that's fine, but when I go to these shows, that's the only place I have to perform. That is it, on the big stage, competing at World's Strongest Man. If I pick one competition in, in my life, this is where I've got to perform. And that's when I come alive. Very comfortable, very confident going into this year. I'm really excited to get there. And yeah, it's been good because I haven't really, I haven't been watching too many other guys what they've been up to. You know, you see it on, on uh, Instagram and stuff, but I don't really pay much attention now. It doesn't really matter. I keep saying that to me now. It's, it's, it doesn't matter what anyone else does. All, all that I've got to worry about is what I can do. And I truly believe that now. You know, it's just what I can do. So if I can make it to the final as well as I can, then that puts me in a good place. If I get to the final, or when I get to the final, those events are good, do really good in those events. And then, when we're strong as man. You know, that's that's my, that's my uh, my plan. The last two, three weeks of prep are always a bit up and down because your body's starting to break down. So two sessions ago, two weeks ago, I had a really good event session. Last event session that we put up was, was fine. It was a good good, uh, good event session, but I still felt tired, felt a bit broken. And that's when you know it's at the end of the prep. That's it, it's time to kind of call it quits. And then we've got deload, which is what we're doing today and tomorrow. Um, and then we're flying out Friday. So the world is going to be very good. The business side of things, you know, we're changing around a few things here. It'll be for the best in, in the long run. I think it's, it's very exciting to see what's happening. I don't know if a lot of you guys actually realise the work that kind of goes into what we do. You know, it's not just, you know, if it was just being a professional athlete, that's enough in itself. It's then trying to run the business, trying to, you know, make that a success, that takes up an awful lot of time as well. So I, I don't feel you can have one without the other, or me personally, I can't have one without the other. So I need those to be running um, in kind of almost perfect harmony, you know, so strong man and the business need to be running together smoothly, all good, and then I can perform in both on my, at my best, you know, and that's been very apparent the last kind of year or so for me. So when things are going good with the business aspect, everything's taken care of, running nice and smoothly, don't have to worry about anything. When there's a little bit more stress kind of in, in that kind of business aspect, then that's when maybe training goes a little bit off now and again. So it's just making sure everything's kind of running smoothly. We looked at like Sir Brian Shaw as well. He's and a lot of the strongmen as well. You know they're trying to be strong men and running a business on the side as well. So, you know, but I think Brian's probably one of the most successful guys. And you know to see what he's done in the sport and for the sport, it's been amazing. We actually just got the events through from the Shaw Classic, which can't really talk about but they look amazing it's, it's incredible Brian's someone that I look up to a lot in the sport and in business you know he's done amazing things and you know we want our, our success in our own right we want to do it in our own way and stuff but I certainly like to have some of Brian's success you know he's, he's done amazing things so it's been a tough prep certainly feeling so much stronger than last year night and day and I know I was very strong going into Worlds last year so this year um, I'm expecting some big things off myself. Hopefully you guys can stay up to date with it all. I know it's a little bit tough. I know there's no live streams and everything else. I know it's a bit frustrating. We feel your pain. Um, hopefully one day that'll change and we can't have a live stream. You know, like so the Rogue Invitational, they do it, Arnold's do it. I don't see why we can't do it at Worlds, but um, all in time. You know, we are trying to change. And yeah, it's uh, it's just quite a, uh, I'm trying to, at the moment before we fly out, it's kind of, I get these little bursts of energy, it's like, I get this bit of bursts of aggression and stuff um, that come into me a few times a day and I need to keep them at bay because that's what I need to use and harness when I go to World's Strongest Man. As soon as the 24th comes, when we're competing, that's when it just switches 100%. That's when I'm just shut off to everyone. Like, I, I don't care. What, what happens, I just have to be that that person that shuts everyone off and just be 100% selfish, that's that's what you've got to do it'll be interesting, so we will see how it goes 
and hopefully you guys can follow us along the way. Um, we're going to be doing updates pretty much every day out of World's Strongest Man, giving you as much insight as we can. So guys, that's basically what's been going through my head. How did we think about it yesterday? Simon said we're going to do a video and just kind of get in my head together. I have different thoughts. I have issues, I have traumas, I have struggles day to day, just like a lot of you guys there. So yeah, hopefully you can take something away. <laughs> At the end of the day, go and do cold water. I'll make you happy. That's why I do it. Thank you very much for watching. As always, stay safe, smile, and stay spicy. And please don't forget to ring that little bell. Ding-a-ling-a-ling! -a -ling -a -ling.